Traditional songs and dances help kick off a potluck dinner with children of all ages taking part. A fun and safe gathering for Indigenous and two-spirited families, but that feeling of safety isn't always there. We are under threat from murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls and two-spirit people, so we want to create safe spaces for our people to exist. Tiffany Joseph and the Sacred Land Society are committed to building a safe space to reduce violence within their community. The goal is to buy a piece of land on the Sandwich Peninsula and build a safe community for women and two-spirited people to live and thrive on. Trying to have this land back, it's, it's so important for our future generation. The land would have a matriarchal focus, using women to empower each other through cultural practices. It would also have safe housing for those who need it and facilities to host classes to ensure their safety. So some people need to learn about, um, you know, skills for being able to have healthy relationships. Some people would benefit from a more physical health perspective where perhaps they might benefit from physical strength or uh, self-defense. There will also be a huge focus on protecting the land with the goal of planting and harvesting indigenous foods taking guidance from the traditional practices of healing the land to heal the people. It's important for women to be leading this initiative, to have this safe space, um, because we're the backbones of our families. It's our matriarchal responsibility to care for the land and care for children and families. The project also hopes to revitalize Indigenous languages from across southern Vancouver Island, something many in the community have been working towards. Language as well as housing as well as cultural revitalization as well as resistance and creating intimate safe spaces all being in the same place I think really is such a testament to um, you know how strong we remain and how strong these women are that are leading this work. The society is raising money for a down payment. So far they've raised $28,000 through events and other fundraising efforts. The goal is to raise $400,000 by August so they can start looking for a plot of land. But this is ongoing. Um, this is something that we are committed to for years to come. To end the violence and ensure the safety of Indigenous women, children and two-spirited people for generations to come.